Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In this video, we will be discussing about an example in which we will be using normally open contacts as well as normally closed contacts. We will be also implementing some logic gates like AND, OR. So let's look at the example first. Example 19. An alarm is on when switch 1 is off, switch 2 is on or switch 3 is on or both are on. Switch 4 and switch 5 are both on. One or more of switches 6, 7 or 8 are on. So, we will move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. Then I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol. I will select it as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I can also click here for a full screen mode and zoom into it like this. So an alarm is on when switch 1 is off. So we will use normally closed contact for switch 1. I will insert one normally closed contact here and a coil. I will address it as I 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as alarm. Yes. So when switch 1 is off, alarm will be on. Then switch 2 is on or switch 3 is on or both are on. So we will use normally open contacts for switch 2 and switch 3 and we will connect them in parallel. I will insert two normally open contacts here and I will connect them in parallel. I will click on this option and draw a line like this. Then I will address these contacts as I 0 0.1 and then I 0 0.2. Then I will add symbols to these contacts as switch to yes, then switch three yes. So when switch two or switch three is on, or when both the switches are on, then alarm will be on. Then switch four and switch 5 are both on. So we will use normally open contacts for switch 4 and switch 5. We will connect them in series. I will insert two normally open contacts here and we will connect them in series. Then I will assign address to it as I 0 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as switch Four. Yes. Then I zero point four. 
and symbol as switch wife. Yes. So we have connected switch 4 and switch 5 in series. That means when switch 4 and switch 5 both are on and then alarm will be on. Then one or more of switches 6, 7 or 8 are on. So we will use normally open contacts for switch 6, switch 7 and switch 8 and we will connect them in parallel thus implementing OR gate. We will insert normally open contacts. And we will connect them in parallel. I will assign address as I 0.5 I 0.6 and then I 0.7. I will add symbol to these contacts as switch 6 yes then switch 7 yes and then switch 8 yes so when one of the input or all the inputs are on that is if switch 6 is on or switch 7 is on or switch 8 is on or any one of these switches is on or all of these switches are on then also alarm will be on so for alarm to be on, switch 1 should be off. Then either switch 2 should be on or switch 3 should be on. Or both are on, then also alarm will be on. Then switch 4 and switch 5 should be on. And then either switch 6 or switch 7 or switch 8 should be on. Or any one of these switches should be on or all of these switches should be on. And then only alarm will be on. So, we will exit full screen mode. We will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning. I will launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming, full screen mode. So, when I turn on switch 2 or switch 5, sorry, switch 2 and then switch 4 and switch 5 and then switch 6. So, alarm will be on. So, if I turn on switch 1, alarm will be off. So, for alarm to be on, switch 1 should be off. And then, if I turn off switch 2 and turn on switch 3, then also alarm will be on. And then, if I turn off switch 4, alarm will be off. Or, if I turn off switch 5, alarm will be off. And then, if I turn off switch 6, and turn on switch 7, the alarm will be on. And then if I turn off switch 7 and then turn on switch 8, the output alarm will be on. So for alarm to be on, switch 1 should be off and switch 2 or switch 3 should be on and switch 4 and switch 5 should be on and switch 6 or switch 7 or switch 8 should be on. And then only alarm will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.